The ongoing corruption investigation in Florence is now having a direct impact on police officers. New tonight, 13 Investigates is finding out how they will lose out on valuable equipment as a direct ripple effect. Good evening, I'm Heather Skold. And I'm Bart Bedsold. Tonight, the Florence Police Department faces a suspension of a federal military program. An audit obtained by 13 Investigates shows that Florence Police did not produce dozens of magazines of ammunition to the state during a surprise audit. Investigative reporter Dan Beatty joins us live outside the Florence Police Department, where some officers have suggested this is a minor issue. Dan? Right. In the past hour, the interim city manager here in Florence told 13 Investigates in an email there were no reports of fraud or theft in this state audit. The items, the military items in question, were in the possession of Florence police officers when the surprise audit took place last week. Following a surprise audit last week, the Colorado Department of Public Safety informed Florence police they would be suspended from a federal military equipment program for 60 days until they can get their act together. They are a little bit disorganized. Um, they could do a better job on that. They need to do a better job on uh, keeping track and custody of equipment. So. That is something that I discussed with them. Jan Janik with the Colorado Department of Public Safety conducted the audit with little notice last week. But it was less than 24 hours. Um, so given the amount of time that we had to go out there and do an audit, um, I believe they, um, they did pretty well. According to a summary of the surprise audit, Florence police couldn't locate nearly $7,000 worth of military gear for the state auditors. 35 ammunition magazines weren't located, as well as five pairs of binoculars worth around $275 each. Meanwhile, a military vehicle given to Florence by the government was stationed at the Fremont County Sheriff's Office without the state's approval. During an executive session on January 3rd of this year, now former council member Alan Nicely voiced his own concerns with the program to current Florence police chief Shane Prickett. The what they did with the GRMO or whatever that program is that, that I has been so corrupted. Mike did his whole business with it. But it's not anymore. That, it's not what? Corrupted. We have fixed that. I, me and Lori have had so many conversations. According to a letter from the Colorado Department of Public Safety, a federal audit will take place at the Florence Police Department from May 26th to May 29th. The interim city manager says they will take the appropriate steps to turn the program around as they are required by the findings in the state audit. Reporting live in Florence, Dan Beatty, 13 Investigates.